Hi, this is Raven. I've had another request, this time from subscriber that guy, and he's having difficulty with uh, controlling the convoys. So he's asked me to run him through uh, what to do as his vehicles keep going all over the place, and I think I know why that's happening. So I'll just run you through um, and sort of have a few tips for you as well. I'm going to use Malden because I hardly ever use that map. It's just nice to look at something different. Um, I need to find a town that has both open road. Yeah, so we've got a main road, and they're a bit they're a bit tight, really. We'll use that side. It's quite open so we'll have the convoy come through this town um, come off the main road go around this dirt road come back onto the main road and come up to this bridge if that's what it is some kind of bridge okay so we'll start the convoy down here um, first of all I need to put a player down and I'm going to put a Zeus down so that I can follow the convoy. So I think they're in cars, the Hemets, yep. And we'll use the transport covered. Now I've just brought an empty Hemet in there just by using Alt and dragging it in. Um, it's best to do that. I find anyway um, and that's because if you have a, a guys inside and when you try and grab the little box to give them the waypoint I've found that sometimes if you get the, the box for the vehicle and not the actual driver then it can do bizarre things so I, to guarantee that you're going to get a good uh, waypoint I would always use the the guy so I'm just going to put a guy down now Offerman put him there so see what I mean with this little box here so if I put them in there there's there's two boxes one for the vehicle and one for this guy so he's going to be our leader grab his box give him a waypoint and I'm just going to give him a basic waypoint to the bridge first so with the AI, they will move to the waypoint in the shortest possible path. So they will literally go down that main road to there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put another two Hemets in. Now, I've put them that far apart for a, a good reason that is another thing to remember when doing a convoy is the spacing in between the vehicles when you initially put them down um, the reason being if your gap is too big so if I had this guy round here when they start moving this guy is going to take the shortest route so the shortest route might not be around that road it might be around this rock or through this bit here because he wants to catch them up to maintain the AI's spacing so um, I can probably show you that if I remember in a little while the next thing you got to remember is um, having the guys off, off this guy so um, just put a rifleman down so this is going to be our leader and we're going to have two more guys that are off of him so and this is important so we'll put one here that's our first one and we'll put the second one on the road so these guys are both following the leader but this is the first guy we attached to the leader that's the second guy now the reason that's important in a convoy is if I was to put the first guy I attached the leader in the 
third vehicle and the second guy I attached the leader in the second vehicle this guy in the third vehicle would overtake the second guy and it, it could get messy I've had it where they just sort of come around here and you know crash into things just to try and get round so it is important um, and again I can I can show you that as well so we'll put the second guy the first guy sorry in the second truck and we'll put the second guy in the third truck and our leader in the first truck now I'm going to show you what happens what I think is happening to uh, subscriber that guy so I'm just going to play it as is now and I think this is what's happening so go to Zeus so there you go the first guy is going off to the waypoint second guy he's going down there and he's going to go for the wall that guy's not even left yet I might not have attached him actually did I attach him but you see what's happening there so that's I think that's what's happening to um, subscriber that guy I'm just gonna check this guy I d doesn't look like I've attached him I thought I had no I haven't attached him okay that's why he didn't move connect group 2 that's annoying right okay so we'll put him put him back in that truck actually what I'll do is I'll show you no I'll, I'll, I'll put him back in that truck and just show that that that, that works Right, first one goes off down the middle. This one's crashed. That one's gone off and he's gone through the everything. As is this guy. So I think this is what um subscriber that guy is talking about. And it is frustrating. So I'll tell you what that main problem is go back to editor and it's something that a lot of people including me I've we all uh, overlook it so if we take our guy our leader out and if we click on his box it's quite literally the, the formation so you can see there the default is a wedge so if you think about how they just behaved one's going down the middle and one is going either side so all you want to do is switch to column and I would switch to sort of slow because convoys usually sort of travel quite slow um, especially if you're sort of trying to set up an ambush or something like that so now we'll run it again and you'll see they'll all follow each other oh for Christ's sake would help if I put him in the fucking truck wouldn't it right try again right so there goes one two three and see so they're all sort of following now so that's the main problem and they'll just follow like that um, to whatever waypoint you put down okay so before I go a little bit more into detail about the the waypoints and how to put them down for sort of a more complicated path I just want to show you what I meant by um, the first thing I wanted to show you was switching the guys around 
So if we put him in this truck and we put him in this truck, remember this was the first guy we linked to the, the leader and this is the second guy we linked to the leader. This guy will go round him. Let's just try that. See what I mean? So he'll go round, smash everything while doing so, and then this guy will follow. So it's important that you obviously get the order in which you attach to the leader. Get that right. Okay, the other thing I was going to show you was the spacing. So let's say um, so I'll put these guys around the right way now. And I will make the spacing a bit bigger. So let's put him around here. And let's put him here. All right, let's have a look at that. Okay, it didn't work that time, typically. But I have had it where that he'll sort of go around the... Go around the bush, or go around the rock, or... Okay. I want him to do it now. It's really annoying me now. Let's put it down there. Try that. He's not going to do it now, is he? You bugger. Make me out to be a liar now. Oh. Hello. But you see that their behaviour is not, not brilliant though, is it? The second one, he's sort of done a little bit of a wiggle. He just done a random wiggle there. So... The spacing, I've always sort of seen that it has made a bit of a difference. So, um, but I've seen a lot worse behaviour than that. So it's it's up to you, but I would just recommend sticking to sort of one vehicle length. Okay, so next, if I just put these back. Okay, so about vehicle length. Now what we're going to do is bring this waypoint to here. Now if you want to go off course, um, generally as a rule I try and have um, a waypoint at every sort of junction. So I'd have one here and I'd probably have one here and then if I just put one on the on the bridge they know that the fastest route to that one on the bridge is going right out of this road here um, but obviously if you've got other roads coming off then you'd want to put sort of more down but you want to put um, as few down as you can because if you have sort of like you know 10 along this road they will sort of try and follow each one if they're not perfectly in line they'll sort of zigzag and it, will, it won't look smooth and it will it will ruin the ambience as well so if we just have a look at that Off the go.
So that's quite a nice sort of point there, like a kind of like a bottleneck. You could you can see that they all slow down when they go in the corner, so you could have some kind of ambush set up at that point. Now the thing I've noticed, um, like I said on the main roads, the AI stick to the right hand lane. When they go on dirt roads, they seem to take the quickest route. So they sort of cut across here and they'll cut across this corner. So that's something to bear in mind if you're sort of setting up ambushes or triggers or IEDs. So on dirt roads they take the they cut and they take the sort of like the racing line if you like. Um, and main roads they take the right hand lane and there you go hope that was helpful um, good luck